Hi, I'm Dr. Leona Allen, author of A Journey to Healing, Five Stages to Achieving More Freedom in Your Health and Your Life. And if you haven't gotten your copy yet, be sure to go to a journeytohealingbook.com. So I've done some previous videos already, and it's really more introductory and setting some foundations of what to expect in future videos. And in the last video, I discussed that healing is a lot like taking a road trip. You got your starting point and you got your destination, and then you have your roadmap that will get you there. So a lot of us know where we're starting and you got to be clear on what you hope to achieve. You want to lose weight. You want to get off medications. You want to have more energy. But I think where a lot of the struggle is, is taking the correct roadmap, choosing the right process over time. And also a lot of us aren't very clear on where we want to be. So before we can achieve health, we have to have a clear understanding of what that looks like. And it's really hard to hit a target if you're not clear on what that target is. So if you want to achieve health, you got to be clear on what health is. So let's get started. In the first sentence of this chapter, I say that many of us strive to be healthy, but do we clearly understand what being healthy means? So I really want you to take a moment, pause the video if you need to, and jot down a few sentences about what your definition of health is. And then once you wrote that down, just unpause and then we'll go into that definition. So now review your definition. And what did you really focus on? Did you focus on symptoms or did you focus on general well-being? Did you focus on what you can or cannot do? Really, this is your time to be honest. I'm not, it's not a, this is not a time for me to judge you or anything like that. You got to be clear on where you're at so we can break out of that and get you to where you want to be. So that's why we're doing this. So again, if you're just listening and you didn't write down a definition, you're missing a big part of this exercise. So I encourage you to really take a minute or two to write this definition down and don't just listen to this. Um, because I really want you to get some benefit out of these videos. Really look at your definition right now and let's compare it to the definition that the World Health Organization uses. And what they say is that health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Now, what that means is that this definition did not mention health as a state of being symptom free. And I would say that a majority of us believe that our health is based on the symptoms we have. So let me give you an example. Our health is based on our level of pain in our neck or lower back. Our health is based on being bloated after we eat certain foods or having symptoms such as skin rashes. Uh, having symptoms such as hormonal imbalances, headaches. So, and then if you're not having a headache that day, you're assuming that you're healthy and having a good day. So if you get anything out of this, really understand that health is not about being symptom free. In fact, the World Health Organization states that often there are no symptoms of the underlying disease of the blood vessels. A heart attack or stroke may be the first warning sign of underlying disease. So it's pretty scary when you look at it. And I just hear about that too many, way too many times about people that didn't know they had heart disease. And then just like that, they're gone from a heart attack or a stroke. There were no symptoms. So really let's start to think about our true definition of health and not just rely on the symptoms because yes, they are important. And yes, I use symptoms to help kind of monitor progress, but I don't assume that if you don't have symptoms, you're okay. 
because a lot of times I get people that have mild symptoms and end up finding out they have a serious autoimmune condition that they didn't know about. So there are some strategies and techniques to kind of assess your health. But unfortunately, a lot of us wait till we have symptoms before we try to make that change. So that's why a lot of you are here right now because of your symptoms, but you can share this information with someone you love so we can go ahead and get assessed and make those changes before we get to that point. And in future videos, I'm going to talk about things that push us to get well. And a lot of times it is the symptoms that really push us to do what we need to do. But ideally it's better to choose to make healthy choices, whether you have symptoms or not. So, you know, what do we do with these symptoms? What is common practice today? You got it. Medication. And what those medications do is really suppress our symptoms. But you got to understand that symptoms are the result of the body's inability to function properly. And a lot of times those medications don't make the body function. They just suppress those symptoms. So you forget about it for a while and it's just a temporary relief. Really the key to health is getting to the underlying cause of the problem. Why are you having trouble losing weight? Why are you having trouble sleeping? Why do you have the headache? And there's many reasons why a person can deal with headaches. It could be anywhere from a hormonal imbalance to a toxicity issue to a food allergy issue to something more serious like cancer. So we got to understand that we can't base our health on the degree of the symptoms. You know, symptoms are common, but they are not normal. And we got to pay attention and stop ignoring these signals. So with that said, what is health? Health is the ability of the body to function properly. Health is functioning at 100% of your body's full potential. So if your body is operating at 60%, you'll feel a whole lot better if it's functioning at 70 or 80%. And unfortunately, a lot of us already have some limitations based on our age and the surgeries and the damage that's already been done. But really the goal is to get our bodies to function close to 100% as possible. So go, at, go back to your definition of health. Did you base it on the symptoms you have? And look at the new definition of health. Ask yourself, is my body functioning the way it's designed? And that's really the approach of a journey to health and a journey to healing, is getting your, finding the underlying cause and getting your body to function the way it's designed.